Hey guys, welcome back to the Tips Bench. We've been gone for a few weeks. We were down at Joe Nall in South Carolina at Triple Tree Aerodrome, and we were speaking to a lot of different customers and some of you guys. You guys were interested in parallel charging, so today we're gonna talk about that. Now I just wanna warn you beforehand, this is more of an advanced charging technique, so if you're new to lithium polymer charging or lithium polymer batteries in general, you might wanna check out the video we did on basic LiPo charging techniques. They'll be annotated right around here. So click that if you're new, get that under your belt, and then you can come back to this and we'll teach you about parallel charging. So, parallel charging basically is a way for you to charge multiple LiPo packs of the same cell count at once to get all your batteries charged in a more rapid fashion. So you're not always charging one battery, unplugging it, and doing it again. There are a couple things you're gonna need in order to do it correctly, and there's a couple little safety tips I'm gonna give you so you don't have any issues with shorting batteries out or pushing too much current to a slightly low battery. And we're gonna go through that as we go through the charging technique. So we're gonna go and show you everything you're gonna need to do a safe parallel charge, and then we're gonna show you how to do it. So the first thing you're gonna need is obviously a LiPo capable charger, specifically one that can do either a high amp output current and also a high cell count. So right now we're using our Turnigy Mega 400 watt with the dual screens. So this can do up to a 20 amp charge. So that means you're gonna be able to parallel charge a lot of packs at once. So this is a great charger for parallel charging. Now to power that, you're gonna need a 12 volt or greater power supply. Right now we're using one of our Hobby King 540 watt power supplies that outputs anywhere between 13.8 and 18 volts. So you can adjust that uh, for your charger. You're obviously gonna need a parallel charge board. We have one here that has a variety of different connectors on it, uh, Dean style, XT60s, and EC5s. We also sell a variety of parallel charge boards that have different connectors throughout the whole board. So if you're using all XT60 packs, we sell one that has six XT60s. There's ones again with Dean's plugs, and a variety of them that you can find on our website. Another thing you're gonna need is one of our cell meter seven cell checkers or any cell checker that we sell. It'll help you be able to figure out which packs of yours you can charge together for parallel charging. You want your packs to be within one tenth of a volt of each other in order to safely parallel charge so you don't short anything out. And now today we're gonna be charging our uh, Turnigy A-Spec G2 2200 three cell packs. We have two of them here that have almost a full charge on them. I checked them earlier and we're gonna show you how to parallel charge them safely. And just to add one more bit of safety, we also have one of our LiPo safe bags that we're gonna be putting our packs in when we have them all plugged in, in case we have any fire issues, which we shouldn't have any issues here, but just a nice additional safety feature. All right guys, so that's everything you're gonna to need to do a parallel charge. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is check the voltages of your packs using the cell checker that you have. Now before you start charging, as I mentioned, you want them to be within one tenth of a voltage of each other. I checked these two packs earlier and they are specifically 12.39 and 12.42 volts for the entire pack. So that means they're perfectly okay to set up for a parallel charge. So obviously once you're done with that, you're gonna wanna power on your charger, and plug in your parallel board. So when you're first plugging in your batteries to your parallel board, what you're gonna wanna do is plug your main charge or discharge leads in first before you plug your balance connectors in. This is so if there was a difference between the voltages of your packs for some reason, you don't want all of the current flowing through the thin wires in the balance tap that could potentially melt and short out. You wanna have it going through the connectors and the low gauge wires on your battery's main discharge lead. All right, so as I mentioned, you wanna plug in your main charge discharge leads first. So we're gonna do that. It's battery number one and then battery number two. And now we're gonna do our balance leads. So these are gonna go into the 3S ports. Awesome, now all we have to do is go ahead and set up our charger and it's really, really simple. You're gonna be doing a 3S balance charge, but you have to remember you have to change your charge current because now together we have essentially a 4,400 milliamp pack. So a 1C charge rate will be 4.4 amps and 2C will be 8.8, .8, et cetera. And as you add packs to your balance board, you have to remember to add those capacities together and figure out what your C rate is. There is no reason to charge at a super high C rate. You can do 1C and still be doing two packs in an hour. 
Uh, or if you want, you could even go down even lower to half as to 0.5 C and have an even safer, longer charge time. But for this instance, we're gonna be doing a 1 C charge. So we're gonna be doing a 4.4 amp charge rate. So all we have to do is set up our charger for a LiPo balance charge. So we're in LiPo balance. We're gonna drop our amp rating to 4.4 amps for a 1 C charge. We have it set for 3S. Before we start our charge, we're gonna take our LiPo safe bag and place everything in there. Set it up just like that, close it up. Now we're just gonna start our charge. Confirm that we have three cells selected. Now you can see our charger is reading it as a single 3S pack. And we have our individual cell readings. Now, when we connected the batteries, basically the entire charge dissipated across both packs, so they became even, which is another reason we also started a fairly even charge, so all the cells are right around where you, they want to be. All right guys, that about wraps it up for parallel charging. It's the best way if you have a lot of packs of the same size, get you back up and flying again quickly. Just remember to follow those little safety tips that I gave you with regards to plugging the batteries in properly and making sure you set your cell voltage and amp amperage correctly. All right guys, so that about wraps it up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and make sure you stay tuned for more tips.